What's going on everyone? It's Adam here from Adam's Nintendo World and GamesReviews.com with a look at the Mario Golf Super, Super Rush overview trailer that Nintendo launched today. On top of the announcement trailer, they put a whole bunch of new stuff out there for us to look at, so let's take a peek. So right here, just stuff we've already seen, of course, uh, the typical Mario Golf fair, but we're now starting to see some of the potential different locations that we're going to get to play in. Um, deserts, uh, jungles, it kind of, not jungles, but lush forests. It looks like a very open course here uh, that we just saw Mario on. This one here is wacky. Do you see this? I don't know. I mean, it says hole one or hole 11 in the top corner up here. Um, but look at this course. Like, what is this? <laughs> this is uh, all ways, every ways. I mean, you can see tee boxes here, here, and here, but unsure what this course is all about. It's just a mess. Like, look at all the fairways going all over the place. Gives you lots of options, I suppose, but still not the best way to play golf, in my opinion. But I'm coming in with an open mind. Of course, as in past games, you're going to see the par distance, the wind, which way it's going, and then all your clubs here on the right side with your power bar. Well, let's keep going here. I do like to see right here, you see these guys rolling into the scene. I'm seeing in these uh, these trailers lots of like obstacles that I'm really excited about. So it takes a normal looking course like this, adds in a little, uh, little flair. You'll see a little bit later that these little uh, wind things here will be used in a super rush mode where you'll see uh, one of the guys jump and kind of go down a cliff really easily. All right, we get those excellent shots. Um, again, showing the way you can hit the ball, standard shot, shape shot, as you can see, and then looks like it's just a lot of your click, click, click. I'm hoping it's click, click, click. This is fairly new. Um, in past games, you would kind of just get the indications. I think it was in one of the top corners, but now you're like scoping it out. So it's showing you right here how high up, distance to the pin, and things like that. So you kind of have a good idea. It's a lot different than what we've seen in the path, the past. What I really like, though, is this little bar down here that actually shows you the shot itself. So here it says 2.8 yards elevation increase. You're going to see it here, but you're actually going to see how that elevation happens. Because if the pin is here, it might be advantageous, of course, to hit your ball so it catches the top and loses all the momentum so it sits. In this situation, though, probably don't want to hit right here because you're not going to get the roll that you want. And of course he sinks it, because why wouldn't he? I'm not crazy about the motion controls, I'll be honest. Um, I never have been. I mean, Wii Sports Golf was fun. Anytime they've implemented motion control into a game, it's been all right, like with tennis and stuff. But, you know, I prefer to play with a controller. And I think that outside of playing in your living room, no one's ever going to use this way of playing. It's just not accurate enough. All right, this is an interesting screen. So you have all your typicals. You got Peach, Wario, Mario, Bowser, Luigi, Waluigi, Daisy... Bowser Jr., Rosalina, Yoshi, Toad, and Donkey Kong. But I do want to draw attention to King Bomb Bomb, uh, Paulina, of course. And, of course, uh, I can't remember his name at the moment. And then Boo. Boo Boo has been in a whole bunch, so that's not that new. But 16 characters, and I do wonder, hey, are we ever going to get some more? Ever, are there going to be unlockable characters and or DLC? And there hasn't been any uh, information. But, of course, everyone's got their different stats, different power. Um... I'll probably be doing the story mode where you create your own me so I can level them up like crazy to use in, in play. But uh, yeah, okay. Online battles, of course. I assume you're going to be able to play local. Um, except for, I don't think you'll be able to play um, Super Rush Golf local unless they're going to do four screen multiplayer like they do in Mario Kart. They don't really show that off. But here's the variety in courses we were talking about earlier. Lots of Mario-centric obstacles, but as well as just normal courses just like this. Um, that look fairly normal, but then this one looks fairly normal, but you got these big pokies right in the middle of the fairway there causing you all kinds of problems. I think Super Rush, I think Super Rush mode is going to be incredibly interesting, and it's obviously what they are wanting people to play. They've named the game after this mode, after all. Speed Golf. I guess Super, it's not called Super Rush, it's called Speed Golf. This is going to be a lot of fun to play with people, um, and how quickly you can take good shots is going to really matter. Like, skill is going to win out in this game it's not luck 
because you got to be able to hit those shots quick and fast, which is not going to be good for me because in typical and past Mario Golf games, um, I'm pretty good at Mario Golf games, but I, I take my time with every shot. Being quick is not my cup of tea. All these special dashes look great. Some definitely look faster. They go farther than others. So you can see this one here, King Bomb Bomb and Bowser Jr. went really far, but I didn't think Daisy went that far, for example. And uh, Mario didn't seem to go that far either. And then special shots, here's Mario. He jumps up, grabs the superstar, and then hits. Uh, there is a video from Game Explain on YouTube right now regarding um, a bunch of other things. The interesting key point here, though, is the fact that these uh, different shots can do different things, like Mario spread all the balls, Polina can hit the balls out of the way, stuff like that. This is going to be really interesting, all of these uh, speed golf modes. Like I'm very excited for speed golf. And normally, it's not something I would be excited for. This here is also really interesting. When I first saw it, I thought this was going to be uh, mini golf, and I would have killed for some Mario mini golf. I think we had it on the Nintendo 64 version of the game. I think there was mini golf. But this is interesting, too, where you're trying to be the first to capture, like capture the flag, capture three holes. That's interesting to me as well, of course, but I don't know. I'm very excited for story mode, unless it's very shallow. Um, it doesn't look like it's going to be shallow. We've seen a lot of different things that you can do, um, including coming up. They're going to show off some boss fights, but I'm, I'm, I'm somewhat worried it's going to be a very shallow mode, and that'll be very disappointing. If it's not 10 to 15 hours of content, I'm, I'm going to be somewhat disappointed, I think. Um... Like, this game's got a great multiplayer component. Here's a boss battle. This game's got a great multiplayer component, but if it's not something I can play for a long time single player, uh, I don't know. We'll be streaming it. We'll be streaming the single player aspect of the game, of course, but man, oh man. I'm not, uh, I don't know if I'm 100% sold yet, but nice that you can use them in stroke play as well and speed golf. And guys, that's it. That's all everything we got in the brand new trailer. Are you excited for this game? Are you going to be playing it? Please hit that like button, subscribe, and be sure to come around the end of June because we will be streaming the entire game. Until next time, guys, have a great day.